Hi, I'm Marlena Stube, and I am a therapist here at the Center for Growth. Today, I want to talk about disclosing trauma in relationships. So navigating the early stages of a new relationship can be both exciting and daunting. One of the more challenging aspects is deciding when and how to discuss personal trauma. Sharing past experiences, especially those that are deeply personal and painful, requires careful consideration. It's important to approach the conversation thoughtfully to foster understanding, build trust, and ensure that both partners feel safe and respected. Timing is crucial when it comes to discussing trauma in a new relationship. It's generally advisable to wait until there's a strong foundation of trust and mutual respect before delving into really sensitive topics. Rushing into this conversation too early can overwhelm both partners and potentially create unnecessary stress. On the other hand, waiting too long might lead to feelings of dishonesty or withholding important parts of oneself. A good indicator that the time is right is when both partners have started to share more about their lives, values, and feelings, and there's a clear sense of emotional safety in the relationship. When you decide that the time is right, it's essential to approach the conversation with care and clarity. Choose a comfortable, private setting where you won't be interrupted. Begin by expressing your desire to share something important, emphasizing that it's a significant part of who you are and your journey. It's helpful to frame the conversation in a way that allows your partner to understand the context and impact of your trauma without overwhelming them with too many details. For example, you might say, there's something really important about my past that has shaped who I am today, and I'd like to share it with you because I trust you and I want us to be close. Listening and support are key when your partner opens up about their trauma. Respond with empathy, validating their feelings and experiences. Avoid offering unsolicited advice or trying to fix their pain. Instead, offer a listening ear and reassurance. It's also important to communicate your own boundaries and emotional needs during and after the, conver the conversation. This mutual exchange can strengthen the bond between partners, fostering deeper intimacy and understanding. And remember, discussing trauma in a relationship is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process of sharing, listening, and supporting each other as you continue to build a meaningful connection. Thank you so much for joining. Bye.